The first tonight, new data shows overdose deaths in Montgomery County are down 50% compared to this time last year. Law enforcement says they are cautiously optimistic about the progress, but they warn about new challenges they're facing in the fight against substance abuse. Two News reporter Leah Seabrooks joins us live in the studio. She's digging deeper into the data and what county leaders call a major concern. Aaliyah, what are they saying? Brooke, county leaders say they are doing their best to educate the community about the opioid epidemic, but they say criminals continue to find new ways to bring drugs into our community. We are seeing a huge, huge increase in methamphetamines and meth uh, in, the, in the county. While the county celebrates a nearly 50% drop in overdose-related deaths in 2024, law enforcement says there are new drug trends that people should be concerned about, like methamphetamines. Uh, it's in full force, no doubt about it, and we are also seeing the fentanyl-laced methamphetamine, so it's not any safer. Law enforcement says local task forces are seeing more and more of the dangerous drug on the streets. Major Jeremy Roy with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says last year task forces recovered $3.5 million worth of methamphetamines off the streets. So far this year, they have already seized $4.5 million worth of the drug. He says while they are seeing this increase in methamphetamines, it is important to highlight the progress of countywide campaigns to educate the community about the life-saving overdose reversal drug Narcan. I think that is as a totality has been why we have been able to lower um, the deaths in Montgomery County. The Montgomery County Overdose Death Dashboard reports 129 overdose related deaths from January through May of 2023. This year, over the same time period, the county reports just 64 overdose related deaths. Local agencies cite Narcan's life saving potential as a major factor in the decrease. People who are using have Narcan available to help save their own life when they feel themselves beginning to have that experience of overdose. You can find more information about how to connect with substance abuse resources on our website, WDTN.com. In studio, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.